Alrighty, hey guys, welcome to part one of my Steam Summer Sale 2019 recommendation video. This will be mostly focused on AAA games that I feel have good discounts. There's literally over 30,000 games on the Steam store, so I'm sure a lot of you are looking for recommendations. I'm going to try not to waste too much of your time in this video. I won't be talking too much about the games. I'm just going to go over the discounts. This will be sorted from cheapest to most expensive, so Keep that in mind as you're following along, and these will also all be listed in the description below if you just want to skip this video and look at the prices. So first up, we have Portal 2, which is on sale for just $1, fantastic co-op game. And then we have Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, the bundle for just $2.23. And then there's Tomb Raider, this is the one that came out in 2013, fantastic AAA game for just $3, incredible price, I always mention this pretty much every year, I love that game. And then we have Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, this is just $2 if you're into games like Grand Theft Auto or open world action games, Sleeping Dogs is great. Then we have Sonic Adventure 2, this is one. This is a classic a game that I really enjoy, it's $2.49. And we have Payday 2, this is a great co-op game. $2.49 and then there's Just Cause 3 for $3. Incredible value there. You can also pick up the DLC for a little bit more, but the base game comes with plenty of content alone. And then there's Tropico 4. This is an RTS or a uh, city building strategy game for $3. And then there's Dishonored. This is another AAA game for just $3.29. It's always surprising to me that you can get AAA games for just a couple dollars. It's crazy value for some of these older games. Then there's Saints Row 4 and also Saints Row 3. You can get both of these games for like $3 a piece. And you can also get the, uh, the version with all the DLC for just $5. So that's a great value there. You can also play this game co-op with friends as well. And then we have uh, Command & Conquer 3. This is another classic RTS game, one of my favorites, so I just decided to add it. It's $3.74, or you can purchase the full collection for a little bit more. And there's Alan Wake, great horror game, for $4.49. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is also $5, a good racing game. And then Tales of Symphonia is a classic JRPG. You can pick this one up for $5. Then there's Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box. This is a fantastic racing game as well. Lots of destruction, $5 for that. Uh, a lot of $5 games here. We have Vanquish, which is $5. A lot of people really enjoy this one. I haven't played it yet, but I look forward to playing it. Then we have Mirror's Edge for $5. And then there's Mad Max, which is one of my favorite uh, like open world style games for just $5. This comes with over 20 hours of content. Definitely recommend Mad Max. And then the Lego games are on sale. A lot of the older Lego games are just $5 a piece. So basically you just pick which one um, you might enjoy. There's a lot of different variety here. So lots of Lego games on sale for just $5 each. And then there's Bayonetta. This is a great action game for just $5. So a lot of uh, like AAA games for five dollars. Uh, Black Desert Online is a fantastic uh, MMO. If you are if you enjoy MMOs and you want a game that is very pretty, fantastic graphics, and a lot of people still play it, it doesn't have any subscription fee at all. It's five dollars. Um, it is a little bit grindy though, so keep that in mind. Then there's Resident Evil 4. This is one of my favorite horror games. A lot of the Resident Evil games are on sale, uh, but this one's just five dollars, and this is my favorite one. So highly recommend Resident Evil 4. Then there's The Sims 3, this is just $5 as well if you want to get into The Sims, so that's a pretty good deal, although there is a lot of DLC. And then there's Sonic Generations, the collection. Uh, th for any Sonic fan out there, this is just $5 as well, and it has fantastic reviews, so probably one of the best Sonic games on Steam. And then there's Thief, this is a stealth game, also $5, another AAA game, AAA experience. And then there's Dead Space. This is another one of my favorite horror games. Um, you can pick this one up for just $5. And trust me, even though this game came out a super long time ago, it still looks fantastic today. It's super atmospheric. And if you are a fan of horror games, highly recommend Dead Space. Also, Dead Space 2 is just $5 as well. So if you get through the first one, you can pick up the second one. And then Borderlands, the handsome collection. This is probably like one of the best, if not the best, uh, sales of the summer sale basically you're getting borderlands 2 and borderlands the pre-sequel along with all the dlc for just five dollars or five dollars and ninety cents so that is super super cheap highly recommend it this is a great game to play with friends if you have friends that haven't played borderlands yet i highly recommend you pick this one up 
So moving forward from that, as you can see, the prices are going up a little bit here. We have Sticks Masters of Shadows. This is another uh, stealth game for just uh, $6. Uh, also, the sequel is like $10 as well. So if you're into stealth adventure games, uh, you might enjoy that one. And then we have uh, Mortal Kombat X. This is a great fighting game. This is not the new one, but the last one, I believe. Uh, this is just $6. This is a great game to play with friends as well. And then there's South Park, the Fractured But Whole. This is a super, super good discount, 90% uh, off. You're getting it for just $6. And if you want to pay a couple dollars more, you can get the Gold Edition for $9. Or you can pick up both the Stick of Truth and the Fractured But Whole for $10. So uh, super good. Um, these are super good games. You're getting easily over like 15, I think it's like over 20 hours of content per game. Um, so yeah, if you're into South Park, uh, I really enjoyed both of the games and played through them. So then there's For Honor. This is $6. I haven't really played too much of For Honor, but um, a lot of people do enjoy that one. And then there's Halo Wars Definitive Edition. I just kind of threw this in because the Halo Master Chief Collection should be coming out soon, but this is the RTS. Um, it's only $8, 60% off. I think that's a fantastic value for a really good RTS, in my opinion. It has a pretty solid campaign that you can play co-op in with friends. So then there's Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, I didn't really know which one to choose here. Um, if you guys have never played a Final Fantasy game before, I'd probably recommend starting with Final Fantasy 13. It's only $8 and you get like over 40 hours of content. It's a very pretty game, a little bit more relaxed and a little bit uh, easier to get into for newcomers. And then there's Black Mesa. This is $8. This is the remastered version of... Um, why am I having a blank here? Half-Life 1. This is the remaster of Half-Life 1. I played through the entire game. I thought it was fantastic. I'm not sure if the um, if the final update has been released yet, but they're basically releasing this huge final version of the game, the Zen expansion, and it's completely free if you purchase the game. So um, that's amazing. This is a crazy discount, and I absolutely loved playing through um, all the content that was available when I played through it. So it's still in early access. It's going to be finished soon, and it's just a fantastic experience. If you're wanting to get into Half-Life, that is where I would begin. So then there's Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is the sequel of the Tomb Raider I showed you before. This one is $9. And again, these are absolutely like visually, these games are incredible. I think everything by like Crystal Dynamics, it's just visually amazing. The gameplay is amazing. Like for adventure games, like Tomb Raider is just, in my opinion, one of the best and super, super fun. So I definitely recommend picking this one up for just $9. That is a great value. Then there's Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen for just $9, 70% off. So that's a great value. Very high reviews for this one as well if you're into open world RPGs. And then there's Fable Anniversary. This really isn't the best sale, but uh, I, I thought I'd mention it for those of you who might be nostalgic towards Fable. It's only $8.74 and it's kind of the remastered version of the, um, the original. And there's Shadow Warrior 2. This is just $10. I think the original Shadow Warrior is also $10, but you might as well pick up the second one if they're both the same price. This is a very action-packed, very gory game, kind of similar to Doom in that sense. So uh, very fun if you're looking for a first-person shooter or first-person uh, action game. Then uh, there's some collections here. So a lot of the Assassin's Creed games are on sale once again. A lot of the older ones are just like less than $10. Some of them are like $7, 8 like nine dollars or whatever so um for triple a games that you can get like easily over 10 hours worth of content in i think these are fantastic value there's also this assassin's creed bundle for 30 dollars, and it gets you four of the assassin's creed games including black flag unity rogue and syndicate so i think that's a great deal as well but sort of the same um type of deals as the last uh sale event during the winter sale and then there's uh, Far Cry another collection of games that are uh, very very cheap so you can pick up like Far Cry 4 for just $12 Far Cry 3 for $8 Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon for 6 and uh, so forth Far Cry Primal for $10 that's probably the one I would recommend to most people out there it's a, it's it's more different and more unique than the other Far Cry games and there's all sorts of like there's like a ton of animals that you can hunt and it's just very enjoyable to me to play a more primitive Far Cry game. But the newer games are on sale as well. Far Cry 5 is $20. Far Cry New Dawn is $20 as well. So a lot of games to go through. Uh, keep with me. 
the Total War games are on sale as well. Uh, the older ones are definitely, uh, I think, have better value just because they're a lot cheaper. Uh, but it's really up to you. I think all of them have uh, really good discounts. Um, the, like the newer game, Total War Warhammer 2, is 50% off for just $30. Or you can get just Warhammer for $15. And scrolling down, some of my favorite ones are the older ones. Honestly, I think the one of like the first games, Medieval Total War, uh, just $2.50. This is my favorite, personally. But all the games are great here so if you're into like rts games or grand strategy games with some epic battles those are good to have so let's uh keep moving here wolfenstein the new order is uh ten dollars and you can also pick up wolfenstein the new order with um the standalone like expansion type game called wolfenstein the old blood for just 15 dollars. so i think that's a great value another crazy action-packed first person shooter then there's, um, what is this, Dungeons 3. You can pick this one up for $10. This is a fantastic RTS as well. Um, I really love Dungeons 2, and Dungeons 3 just makes it so much better. So uh, definitely a fantastic game, like not over 90% positive reviews there. And Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. This is a popular one. Um, this is only $10. So if you have friends that you want to play Rainbow Six with, or if you're just looking for a tactical multiplayer shooter, this game is very enjoyable, very replayable as well. And then there's Arma 3 you can pick up for just $10 fantastic price. Then there's Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This is the Game of the Year edition, which includes all of the DLC for just $10. I still think that's a great value, even though it was a bit cheaper in the past. Then there's the DSX collection. You can pick up all the DSX games for just $10. This includes the newer game, Mankind Divided, along with my favorite, which was uh, DSX Human Revolution. But all of these are super, super cheap, so great time to pick those up. Then there's Star Ocean The Last Hope. This is one of my favorite JRPGs that has over 40 hours worth of content. If you're looking for more of a sci-fi, futuristic type of JRPG, this one is certainly worthwhile. It's only $10, and uh, in my opinion, that's a fantastic price, but not too many people know about that game. Then there's Sniper Elite 4. You can pick it up for just $12. That is such a good value. I mean, all of these games, there's they're so cheap compared to how much content you're getting out of each one. This is one that uh, caught my eye. Strange Brigade is just $12.49. This is a co-op like third person shooter that you should really play with like two to four friends. Uh, the graphics are really great and I think it would be a lot of fun if you have friends to play with. So I just threw that one out there. It is sort of expensive at $12, but uh, I think I plan on picking it up. Next there's Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is just $12.49 and I believe Leave the first universe is on sale as well if you're into dragon ball z these are fantastic uh, they remind me a lot of the budokai series that i grew up with and then there's Watch Dogs 2 Watch Dogs 2 is just 12 dollars or you can pick up Watch Dogs 1 and Watch Dogs 2 for just $16. Uh, this is another great like open world and like stealth action game um, that's super enjoyable, especially for people who enjoy games like Grand Theft Auto. And then there's Metal Gear Solid 5, the definitive experience. I absolutely love Metal Gear Solid 5, so I recommend this pretty much every sale. This is just $12 and you're getting all the DLC as well. And you also get Ground Zeroes, which is a completely separate game, I believe. Uh, um, all for just $12, and this has easily over 20 hours worth of content, super enjoyable, great graphics, and one of like the more unique games that came out over the last like five years, or whenever this game came out. Um, so next we have Tales of Berseria. This is another JRPG. I have not played this one, but I've heard really good things about it, so I thought I'd add it. It's $12.49, 75% off. Great deal. I mean, JRPGs just have so much content, so I, I sometimes just like have trouble not recommending them, even though I know a lot of people out there don't really enjoy um, like anime style games. So I wanted to recommend World of Final Fantasy. This is another JRPG, but it's a little bit more laid back and more cute. It's kind of like a mix between Final Fantasy and Pokemon. You're kind of like uh, training various creatures and capturing them and so forth. Uh, super, super charming. And it's only $12.49. So I would highly recommend this one if you're into JRPGs or if you're just looking for a really cute game to play. Then there's Dying Light. This is a zombie game that you can play co-op with friends as well. It's $13.59. Great value there for sure. I uh, definitely recommend playing with a friend as well. And then there's Grand Theft Auto V. It's just $15. 
great deal. I think it's gone on sale for $15 in the past though. Um, you can also pick up the premium edition, which comes with some online content for $5 more, but uh, definitely Grand Theft Auto 5 has tons of content. I love the single player part of the game, but I know a lot of people love the multiplayer, uh, but overall you're getting so much content for just $15. It's definitely worthwhile. Hitman Game of the Year Edition is $15. And then we have Project Cars 2, which is $15, another great racing game. And then there's Bioshock The Collection. This is one of the best deals, in my opinion. For just $15, you're getting Bioshock 1 Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, Bioshock Infinite, along with the Season Pass. I absolutely loved Bioshock Infinite, made a full Let's Play on my channel, really enjoyed the Season Pass content as well. So this is definitely a like must-have, in my opinion. And then there's The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is a lot of people's like favorite game of all time. Uh, you're getting the DLC as well, which are some major expansions that give you many, many hours more of content. But basically, it's just $15, and you're getting easily over like 30 hours of content. A really, really enjoyable game. So we're getting closer to the end. We have XCOM 2, which is a great strategy, tactical strategy game for $15. And then there's Dark Souls 3, which is a hardcore action adventure game for $15. I'm sure most of you know of the Dark Souls games. I think Dark Souls 2 is $10 and uh, Dark Souls 1 Remastered is on sale as well, but I feel like Dark Souls 1 is a little bit more expensive. So I feel like you should probably just start with Dark Souls 3, although I'm not entirely sure about that. And then Fallout 4, I just threw this in here. It's not like the best deal or anything, but I really enjoyed Fallout 4. So you can get it for 50% off for just $15 and easily over 40 hours of content in Fallout 4. And then there's Hellblade to Newest Sacrifice. I wasn't sure if I should add this as like a AAA game or not. Um, it definitely looks AAA. And from my experience, it was very, very high quality. Absolutely loved it. If you're looking for more of a like a single player focus, story driven, like character driven experience. Hellblade is amazing. Uh, just $15 for Hellblade, it's a newest sacrifice. Then there's Prey, the digital deluxe for $20, or you can pick up the original game for $15. I probably just recommend picking up the original for $15. I'm not sure why I have the digital deluxe up here, uh, but that is a great horror game. Uh, very pretty graphics as well. And then there's Elder Scrolls V, had to throw in uh, Skyrim. <laughs> uh, always got to recommend Skyrim. So it's $20, and honestly, I feel like this is the type of game that should be like $5 at this point. It's been re-released so many times, and everyone pretty much has it, but if you don't have it, $20, it's worth it. And there's a Neo Complete Edition. This game is a little bit similar to Dark Souls, and it's on sale for just 20 bucks, 60% off, so I thought that was worth mentioning. Um, definitely looks like a cool game. I haven't really played too much of Dark Souls, so I don't know too much about it, but just from what I've heard from other people. And then we have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is another like open world action shooter. This is just uh, $17.49, 65% off. So I think that's a pretty good value, especially considering this game isn't that old. It's only like two years old. So uh, moving forward, we have The Crew 2. This is one of my favorite racing games, and it's definitely a great racing game to play online with friends, um, all sorts of different events and different vehicles, and very pretty game overall. And uh, the map itself is absolutely huge and there's a ton of different events but basically it's $18 for the crew 2 standard edition which is what I'd probably recommend or you can pay a couple extra dollars for the deluxe edition so that's a great game a you play game but still I think it's amazing then there's Darksiders 3 which is 66% off for just $20 it came out late last year so I'm kind of surprised to see such a heavy discount already but this has some great fluid combat mechanics and some very challenging enemies some Dark Souls type elements the story is kind of lacking though but I know some of you out there there will really enjoy this game. And then there's Soul Calibur 6. This also came out late last year and it's also 67% off for just $20. This is a fantastic fighting game for those of you who like fighters. And next up is Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. This is one of my favorites. I played through the entire game when it first came out. Uh, it comes with three games in one, but it's 40% off for just $24. And uh, I really think this is a fantastic 3D uh, platformer. And moving on from that, there's Tales of Asperia, the Definitive Edition. This is another great JRPG for just $25 or 50% off. Um, definitely worthwhile there. This came out uh, early this year for $50, so seeing such a heavy discount, 
is pretty exciting. And then there's Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. This was in a Humble Monthly not too long ago, but I still think this is a fantastic uh, tactical um, strategy game, very similar to the XCOM series, and I think it's worthwhile. It's 40% off currently, or just $21. If you're looking for a game similar to XCOM, this one is certainly worth it. Final Fantasy 15 is also on sale for 50% off for just $25. I think that is a fantastic deal, and this is definitely a great game for people who are new to the series as well. Some very very pretty graphics and the combat is pretty fun as well. Then there's the Microsoft Action Bundle. This has some more AAA games. So you can get Sunset Overdrive for $15, Record Definitive Edition for $12, or Quantum Break for $10. Or if you want all three, you can save an extra $4.50. Uh, so for just $32.50 for three great AAA games that were published by Microsoft. And all of them I think are worthwhile for sure. Then there's Monster Hunter World. This is a top seller. It's $30 or 50% off, um, but again, it's a great game. Came out late last year on PC anyway, and um, definitely a lot of content to be had in Monster Hunter World. And then finally, we have Rage 2. So uh, there is mixed reviews on this game, but it did come out very recently, and it's already 33% off, so $40 for Rage 2. From what I've seen of the game, the gameplay looks very exciting very fun um, but it seems like the story is lacking dramatically and the character development and so forth uh, but if you want a newer release i think 33 percent off is a pretty good sale especially for a game that came out just like a month or two ago so that's pretty much it for the steam summer sale and that's the last game i have for you for my AAA recommendations i will make a part two with indie game recommendations but let me know in the comments below what games you recommend or what games you thought had some good deals on them like I said, the older AAA games are super cheap, and if you guys haven't played them before, especially on PC, I think it's really worthwhile, and sometimes they even rival the newer games that were released, so if you want to save some money and buy some older games, I definitely recommend doing so, uh, but there's a ton of other games that are on sale, and I look forward to making another video on more indie-style games. So thanks for watching, and have a nice day.